The SOAR was formed in 1989. There were only a handful of organizations at the time, but a referendum was passed and a student union was built. And the director reformed the office to student organization advising and resources, so the office wouldn't be just about activities, but about students developing and learning through doing, so students would have full control and agency of their projects. The first director of SOAR really wanted us to create a learning environment. So all the programs that we did were to help students uh, explore their interests, uh, make their own choices, create new programs, and learn by trial and error. So staff were there to help them out uh, with guidance, but students were there to really run the program. It's like you're learning tens and millions of skills just putting on one thing with your organization. And then, and then to see it come through in follow-ups, thank you cards, thank you notes, um, thanking the faculty and staff, creating relationships. So all that comes together just by producing one little event that you came up with that's, that's for the students, but the campus and yourself learn so much and take so much from working together. It was a really different approach and one that the students enjoyed and took off with. And as a result, the number of organizations grew and uh, the projects that students did grew in their complexity and uh, in their service to the campus. It was because of my experience at Santa Cruz that was both affirming and empowering that I was able to, at 21 years of age, go into these spaces where I was new and I was with people who were much older than me and still speak my truths and still challenge their beliefs and also allow my beliefs to be challenged. I think all of us at Someca, certainly I feel that we learn something every year. In fact, we learn something every day. And it's what keeps us optimistic about the future. It's, it's really difficult to pinpoint any one unique moment because all of it, in its own right, every moment of it was, was great and amazing and empowering. Um, there was so much discovery because there weren't limits. I never felt as though there was anyone telling me what I couldn't do or what I couldn't be or because I was a woman or because I was a student. And there was freedom in this space to be able to pursue making the environment around me better. Year after year, students tell us that they discover they feel better when they're giving back to others. And that spirit continues with our alumni. We have people in the music industry, we have people in Washington, D.C., uh, people in legal professions and business, all with the spirit of giving back. And um, they come back and talk with us, they talk with students about how they're connecting their education organizations to what they're doing today. So when I think about the importance of Someca programs, I think a lot about just self-agency and the ability to make choices. And if we think about sort of the founding of this country, this country is founded on the belief that people have the ability to declare themselves independent, <laughs> that they have the ability to de declare for themselves free people. Um, and it has been the legacy of this country, generation after generation, to fulfill that promise to fulfill the promise that we've seen in the founding documents of this country. And when I think about Someca programs, I think about there's a parallel to that, which is that not every student is going to learn simply by reading a text and writing a paper or taking a test. It's the combination of the experiences in the classroom and outside of the classroom. It is in the practice of leadership that one hones those skills, and that can happen without the experiences that Someca programs provide. It provides the, the foundation, the legitimacy, and um, the space in which to explore and quite frankly to make mistakes and to fail. And if you can't make mistakes and fail amongst friends and people who care about you, then with whom can you make those mistakes? It's hard to predict the future of Someca. Um, 
I think a lot of us feel the world is changing rapidly. But the beauty of Sameca is it creates itself and recreates itself with each generation of students that come forward. And I think that's what gives it a really strong foundation that serves many different types of students. It's a flexible, human, creative environment.